Hey guys, what's going on? It's Christopher Z here and Mikey Allstar here. And today we have an awesome video. A review video of what you might ask. Just these guys. Yeah. Just these guys. From Series 11 minifigure series. I've got all of them now, so I decided, hey, why not do a review? So, first off, we're going to do some quick updates. And then we're going to review these guys, okay? First off, of course, spring break is coming up, so we're going to try to get a good amount of videos out during spring break. It's going to be awesome. Going to make a lot of videos during spring break. And this weekend, there's a pretty good possibility that Connor David Free will come out. And there might be a possibility of Smart Fortune coming out the next episode. So yeah, that's about it guys, and let's get on with this review. And here is the very first one on the list. Her name is Calmedy Drone. And she is from the Wild West. And let's take a look. She's got a red dress on. And she has, of course, a robot face. And got some printing on the back. Just more of the dress. And she has these really cool silver arms and a gray, light gray hand and she comes with a rifle and of course all of them come with a stand and oh, her hair is pretty awesome as well I like the mold of the hair looks really cool and of course it's this piece comes off it is a hat that you have to put on right, there you go oh, <laughs> keep on dropping stuff and there is a hole right up there where you stick this into the hole and oh it puts on the hat uh, yeah let's just leave that off for now so yeah an awesome minifigure and that was minifigure number one let's go on to the second one and here we have president business and he comes up with an comes with an octan cup pretty awesome and of course, like usual, a stand. And he's got an awesome suit on. It's gray with a red tie and a white shirt underneath. Really awesome piece. Love it. And we've got some gray pants on. Dark gray. Dark gray arms, of course, to match his suit. And yellow hands, because he is, in fact, a yellow minifigure. His face is also pretty cool. He's got a unibrow on. <laughs> and his hair is... Pretty cool. It's exclusive to this figure. It also comes in a, another set, Lord Business's Evil Layer. And he has a mad face as well on the other side. So yeah, that was minifigure number two, President Business. And here he is, the star of the show, Emmett. Hey, I thought I was the star of the show. Mikey, you're the star of every show, but he's the star of the Lego movie. Oh, yeah! Alright, so here we have minifigure number three. Probably the one that you guys want the most. And he's got his little instruction booklet on how to live a happy life. And he's got, of course, his construction suit on. And a little name tag right there that says Emmett. A little card. He's got a belt. Orange pants with the iconic white line. There. And... He's got a pen right there. And on the back it continues with this little squarish pattern. And of course his face. I mean he looks so happy. Just so happy. Oh. There you go. <laughs> and his helmet is well his, he has hair under his helmet. It's part of it. And he does have two heads. He has a extremely happy head on the other side. So yeah, and that was minifigure number three. Yeah, there you go, hard hat Emmett. Let's move on to minifigure number four, and here is minifigure number four, Wild West Wild style. That's a mouthful to say. Great alliteration there, and of course she has on her whoa, <laughs> Wild West dress. It's black with some blue. And she has just plain black arms. Little printing on the back. 
and she comes with a fan and here's her head and her hair is pretty awesome too it's also exclusive to this figure you can only get this hair with a wild style figure whichever one will and no double head and, oh, there you go and that was wild west wild style let's move on to minifigure number five and here we have one of our presidents mister abraham lincoln Yep, pretty awesome i like how they put actual people in the series as well and start off with his little suit and bow tie Oh, hold on there you go pretty awesome i love the detail he's got a jacket on and then under that he's got a vest i guess and a white shirt and a it's hard to see there you go a dark red bow tie and you can see this little chain here i think it's probably a watch and he is holding uh... yeah Gettysburg address and he's got just black pants on no back printing and he's got this really awesome mold it is his hat and he also has his beard and his hair on the other side awesome detail in his face he doesn't look happy but he doesn't look bad either he just looks calm very calm indeed let's move on to the next minifigure and here we have Mrs. Scratchin' Post and she's a very interesting minifigure if I do say so myself and she comes with a little cat pretty awesome not sure which cat that is because she has like four five I can't remember but she's got some pretty good detail on her pants it's like a mm, fleece I guess and her shirt she's got like a little cat sweater on and she's got a little waist bag and doesn't look like anything on the back and of course here's her face just glasses and kind of a interesting look on her face interesting expression indeed and I've got this here I think this is the first time we've seen it in this color the gray for the older people seen it in uh, Pirates of the Caribbean sets as well like Elizabeth she has this hairstyle as well so yeah pretty awesome minifigure let's move on to the next minifigure aww yeah one of the coolest minifigures in this whole series scribble faced bad cop and he does of course have two heads like in the movie and first off let's start with his accessories he's got a smartphone and it apparently is 8 o'clock right now which is actually correct huh what a coincidence huh <laughs> interesting and Mm, sorry, he's got handcuffs, of course, because he is, after all, a cop. He's got the uh, secret police badge right there. It's a little hard to see. It's a gear with a kind of face on it. it looks more like a dandelion. And he's got this really cool added detail. It is a uh, walkie-talkie. Yeah, walkie-talkie. And he's got this really cool jacket on. He's got zippers for the pockets and a zipper right there. He's got a belt on. No back printing, but, you know, whatever. And his helmet, look at this. This is pretty darn awesome. This is the first time we've seen this helmet. It's specially designed for him. And, hold on, you need two hands for this. And, there you go. He's got a happy face. Because, uh, yeah. And I can explain because some of you might have not seen the movie, but if you have, you know why he's got a smiley face on the back of his head. Yeah. Really awesome minifigure. Personally, one of my favorite minifigures in this series. Now let's move on to minifigure number 8. And here we have another actual person. Just like Abraham Lincoln, we've got William Shakespeare. An awesome writer. Writes plays, poems, a lot of stuff. And, uh, <laughs> to build or not to build. And, yeah, his torso, of course. It's really cool. It reminds me of the Shakespearean actor in um, one of the early, uh, I can't remember when that minifigure series came out, but I'm sure some of you know what I'm talking about, except that was in green. He's got some nice pants on, <laughs> very interesting. He's got a quill in his hand, and of course this, looks like he's writing a script, and he's got this little 
Uh, I'm not sure what this is called exactly. I don't know. <laughs> and his hair is pretty cool. He's kind of bald. He's going bald and he's got hair back here. And his expression. He looks pretty calm. Looks like he's thinking about something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Alright. Let's move on to the next minifigure. And here we have Gale the Construction Worker. Now this minifigure pulled a prank on me. When I opened this, I thought it was Emmix. I saw his heart have my pull. I was like, oh, it's Gale, huh? That was pretty interesting. <laughs> and, yeah, she comes with a uh, jackhammer, I believe is what it's called. And she's got a construction worker jacket on, but it's unbuttoned. And she's got a little shirt on under there. And she's got, looks like, a tool belt with, I believe either wire cutters or uh, yeah I think that's wire cutters looks like a small little uh, wrench maybe I'm not sure it's hard to tell and some belts and stuff she's got really vibrant blue pants unlike Emmett where he has just orange pants makes it look really cool these two colors go together well and her face it's got a little beaten up from you know breaking up rocks and stuff that fly off but she still looks pretty happy and of course she's got a hard hat on because you need these in construction areas and she's got a ponytail in the back and of course back printing just the lines continuing so yeah pretty awesome minifigure as well let's move on to number 10 now here we have Larry the Barista or Barista I'm not sure exactly how it's pronounced but anyways Really awesome guy, this is the last guy that I got in the entire minifigure series. And this is the guy that works at the overpriced coffee shop. And not looking very happy. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, let's start off with this. He's got on just uh, jeans. And he's got, of course, his little uniform on. Uh, apron. Yeah, apron. And he's got the symbol right there of his workplace. The overpriced coffee, sh coffee shop. He's got what looks like some receipts maybe or something like that. And he's got his name tag which says Larry. And he's got a shirt under there. You can see part of it with the buttons. And the accessory is a cup of coffee. Looks really awesome. I love the detail. And look at this. This is really cool. This is all one piece. Pretty cool, huh? And his face. Doesn't look like he's very happy. Doesn't look like he shaved this morning. And his hair looks extremely awesome. Love the hair mold for this guy. Extremely awesome. Yeah. So that was Larry the Barista. Barista. Let's move on to the next person. And here we have Velma Staplebot. And she, of course, is a robot. And her little thing is a clipboard that says, I believe, something about Taco Tuesday. And... Yeah, let's get on with this. She's got a skirt on and some, I guess, shoes or boots, because you can see her little robot legs. And her shirt is very bright, indeed, very bright. It's a dandelion color, I believe. She's got a little scarf on. It makes her look like she's from the Wild West. I'm not sure if she is or not. I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure she's not. And her face is pretty awesome. It's pretty much just a robot face with makeup and little microphone right there and her hair mold is extremely cool I like the detail that they've added looks really amazing and no back printing alright let's move on to the next guy and here we've got the Taco Tuesday guy this guy is pretty awesome let's go ahead and start off with his accessory this is a bowl of nachos and added detail in the bowl which is really awesome love seeing this detail they've added and his pants are pretty awesome. They are a dark red. And they've got little green triangles on it. Pretty awesome. And his arms are just, of course, red. And under here, it's just green. So, nothing to worry about there. Not missing anything. And his little uh, poncho looks really awesome as well. More added detail. It's a lot different than the other one from a while ago. Uh, mariachi band guy with the maracas pretty cool and he's got a winking face 
he, and he's pretty happy and he's got a nice sombrero as well with the green triangle pattern that we see here and here pretty awesome guy really cool and let's move on to the next guy guess who this is go ahead guess I dare you who is it tell me right now who is it yep you guessed right it's the where's my pants guy this guy <laughs> boy is this guy pretty cool I mean alright first off comes off it comes off he comes with a accessory which is his pants so I guess he's blind be and he can't feel anything because his pants are in his hands but he's still asking where his pants are and he's got underwear on of course thankfully and his shirt is really awesome looks like a Hawaiian vacation shirt really cool maybe he just got back from vacation or something and his expression just looks so happy and his hair is really cool as well it is from uh... it's from the mechanic guy I think that's the first time you see this really awesome 50s style hair and like Elvis Presley and a really awesome figure I especially like his shirt I mean just looks so cool just so much detail so bright so vibrant very cool minifigure let's move on to number 14 and here we have Wily Fusebot now if you've played the Lego uh, movie game this guy you know this guy is very annoying indeed keeps on throwing TNT or dynamite at you and he's got a gun that's what he comes with and yeah let's move on to the legs he's got a little thing for storing gunpowder gunpowder horn I believe that's what it's called he's got a patch looks like he spilled something on his pants good job and he's got looks like makeshift belt maybe it's hard to tell and he's got ah there you go he's got a some overalls on kind of he's got a little bone right there interesting a little button and you can see some of his fur and feather and claw collection there hanging up on a little necklace pretty cool he's got a robot face and this part is a separate piece it is his beard and he looks pretty angry I mean he looks like a guy that you don't want to mess with and his hat of course is extremely awesome look at that that's cool pretty darn cool minifigure alright let's move on to the next guy second to last guy number 15 that's pretty creepy isn't it heh <laughs> yeah alright so you guys already know who this guy is it is the panda guy I believe yeah the panda guy and his accessory is a panda bear which is interesting I guess he really likes panda bears yeah and first off he's got like this part of his belly it continues on down to his legs pretty awesome I like it and his torso is it's plain but it works well I mean look at that pretty cool detail and he even has a zipper in the back awesome added detail love all this detail of these figures and he's got a hat of course let's see what's under the mask <laughs> looks pretty happy but he's getting pretty sweaty must be pretty hot in that outfit hmm yep alright well now yeah, there we go that's kind of creepy <laughs> there we go huh. and that was the panda guy let's move on to the very last person which is Marsha Queen of the Mermaids oh yeah alright so first off she comes off she comes off why do I keep on saying that she comes with a shell and a little gem that is pink and she's got a mermaid tail because she she is of course the queen of the mermaids so she is a mermaid and she's got two clam shells and a little necklace and her hair is a really vibrant color it's interesting limited to this minifigure very odd color indeed and she's got just a pretty happy face looks like she's pretty happy to be the queen of the mermaids so yeah that's all the minifigures so thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this review and let me know down in the comments which one is your favorite personally my favorite of course is Emmett he is just so awesome and the where's my pants guy 
Mainly because of his shirt, because that is an extremely cool shirt. So yeah, thanks again for watching guys, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!